Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, I wanted to do a little video today about how to frame and mat this Rocky II Super Fight 2 poster that we sell on Movie Popcorn. Um, it comes out really great. One thing that I like to see is when we have these posters is to put a really nice mat on them. But if you ever have tried to get a mat done at like Michael's or something like that, it costs a fortune. So I wanted to show you how you can do it really quick by yourself. So speaking of Michael's or um, any kind of arts and crafts store, I went and bought a piece of 24 by 36 blue mat board for $5. I had figured out this frame that I'm showing you here, this dimension, how to trim this out. All I needed to do it was a metal ruler and an X-Acto blade, and I'll show you how it's really easy. So here's the measurements you would need, three and a quarter um, by I think two and a quarter, and I just made little tick marks on the back of the frame. Sorry, on the back of the poster board. It's really easy to make these long measurements. Um, just marked off three and a quarter, three and a quarter, three and a quarter, all the way down. And then you just connect them with a line to make your straight edge. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. So I just, don't you see a little nick there? I knew it would be covered by the frame. I didn't even care. So there's my little tick marks I just made. Each of these is three and a quarter inches away from the edge. I just put my ruler along those edges of those tick marks and just draw a straight line. So see I'm lined up right there on the tick marks. I just draw one straight line right along my ticks. Now I have a perfect straight line that is three and a quarter inches from, from that side. Easy. There's the ticks and you can see I just ran right along them. It's really easy to do. And it makes sure that your that your line is straight, which is very important. And again, three and a quarter from the side, and I'm going to repeat that on the other side, and you'll see why in a minute. Again, same thing on the right side. I just made my little tick marks, three and a quarter, and we're going to line them up. What we're going to do is on the back of this board that we're writing on, we're going to make this square that we're gonna cut out the hole so we can put our picture inside to make our, our mat frame. If you go to one of these uh, stores, honestly, they'll charge you a fortune to cut a mat, and a mat may sound very important, but it really is just a piece of poster board that they, that they cut out into a square because they think you can't do it. But it's very easy to do. Again, these are the two sides, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Now, the bottom is two and one quarter from the bottom. We're gonna do the same exact thing from the bottom, two and a quarter, and just make several little tick marks. It's really easy to do. Just find your two and a quarter, make your little tick, and continue that, maybe three, maybe four, and you can run them along there. I have here a 36-inch metal ruler that I've had forever, so that really helped out too but just continue making those tick marks. And then we're gonna continue that, we're gonna draw our line, and that will make a perfect square on the back of this. And our square that we're cutting out is a little bit smaller than the size of the poster. So you can see there's my tick marks. I'm sure that I'm probably over explaining this, but I just drew my line on the ticks, there we are. Now look at that, we're making this perfect square on the back, which I've done, perfect square. Now, I'm going to cut this out with an X-Acto blade. And again, this is something that the mat stores will charge you a lot of money for because they think you can't do it. But it's really, it's really simple, just a little patience. You can see this took just a few moments. And as you can see here where I'm showing, the poster is that kind of gray square that I measured out here. The poster is a little bit bigger than our hole. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to get my X-Acto and I'm going to cut out our square. The only place we have to really worry about it is right at the corners. So I'm putting uh, my um, poster board on top of this black mat board so I don't uh, you know, cut on the table itself because then I would be killed. Um, but you'll see, I'm gonna take my X-Acto and just cut out this square right along our perfectly square lines that we made. Just being careful right here at the corners just, we don't want to go past those corners. We just want to kind of start at that corner and then work our way down. 
And if you've used an X-Acto, that's great. If you haven't used one, what you want to do is you have to kind of maybe do it once or twice. You're not chopping down a tree or sawing through a piece of wood. You're just running it once or twice just to kind of ease through this cut. Don't try to cut it in one swipe. I actually did that way back in the olden days when I was working with X-Actors the first time and I took off a chunk of my finger because it leapt on top of the ruler. So you just take it nice and easy. You're kind of scoring it. And you're just going to score these lines and it'll eventually maybe three times you'll cut right through and it'll be nice and clean you have to be careful when you get to the other edges like i said you don't want to go past the corners see right here i'm showing the corners and look at that i've cut two corners and it'll lift right out and i've made a really nice sharp edge here really simple to do just take your time I'm going to do the same thing on the rest of the corners. Just slice from corner to corner, but don't go past the corner. That's what gives you the straight line. And that's something that, again, at these Michaels Arts and Crafts or AC Moore, they'll charge you a lot of money to cut a mat. And a mat is, is nothing but a piece of poster board. And this poster board, I think, cost me $4.98. 24 by 36. And I just picked this blue color because I thought it would look really nice. Here I am scoring just nice. Take your time all the way down to that corner. And I did not pass the corner. Don't pass it. Do it a couple times and you kind of just tip, 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 and it'll come right out. So here we do. Here, here we are. I have my whole frame almost ready to go. There's the corner. Like I said, sometimes the corners stick. You could just might have to just nip a little bit in the corner just to free it up. And here we go. The complete edge simple it took me just a few minutes and again I know I'm repeating but again they cost they charge you a lot of money to do this so I'm putting the frame down and I'm bringing out our super fight 2 poster that we sell over here on movie popcorn um, what I'm doing here is I know that I need a quarter of an inch around the edge that I'm opening here because I want to put the poster in and make sure that it's nice and straight. So I'm going to make a quarter of an inch, again, more tick marks right along the bottom edge of this frame and you'll see why. I'm going to make a line so when I put the poster on the back of this frame, I know exactly where to line it up. So here I am, a quarter inch away from the hole that we just cut. I'm going to run my line again. I think I only ran two sides. So there's one line. And I'm doing it again on the others, a quarter inch. Now I just made a quarter inch and a quarter inch lines. There we are. I think those are the only two I really need. Now, where they intersect, I'm going to put the corner of my poster where these two lines intersect. See, that's just a quarter inch right to there. And same here very important because this makes it super easy when you're going to put the poster on the back of this frame and you'll see this is going to come out looking super professional and it'll it'll be fantastic and you'll say wow look what i'm doing so see how i put the poster in here just to placement that corner is going to line up where these two lines intersect so there i am putting it on right there is the intersection of the two lines that I just made the two quarter inch lines. I'm just going to take some dumb painter's tape, just stick it right there. Now, as I take the bottom of the poster, it follows along that quarter inch line that I made and it lines up to the other corner. Now that bottom line is perfectly straight and I just tape it down. And now naturally the other corners are going to follow suit and be perfectly straight. I literally just stick some painter's tape on there keep it nice and tight then I'm going to get some thicker tape and I'll, I'll cover that down but I just wanted to flip this over to show you there it is it's perfectly straight which is important because this poster does have you know lines on it so I turn it back over made sure it's nice and flat I just took green masking tape taped it all down really nice and tight and there it is now it's not going anywhere then we're just going to take this flip it over we can see that it looks great. We just now have to put it into this frame. This is a 24 by 36 inch frame, got it on Amazon.com, I believe, or maybe it was at Michael's as well, just a regular frame. Um, as I put my um, blue 
24 by 36 inch poster board that I just cut in the frame. It was a little bit too big. So I just sliced off like an eighth of an inch. Um, just an eighth of an inch, it was, it was fine. Popped it in there and there it is, it looks great. Easy fit. I'm gonna throw that, you know, that backing that they give you. I just put the backing on, then I pop on the, the hard back and slide in those little slider things right there. And there it is. Looks great. Looks super professional. Instead of just you know sticking it into a, a frame, I always like to have a matted poster. Not just put it into the Rocky poster here. The Superfly 2 is 20 inches by 30 inches. And I just don't like to put them in a 20 inch by 30 inch frame. Even though it's designed to have that little white border, it looks so much better if you can put it into a matted picture. But here's something else in this video here. So there, there it is. It came out great. It is super easy to do. So then um, Carl Weathers had come to um, this area and I wanted him to sign one of these posters. So. He did, he came, I took one of these posters down, had him sign it, and then I had to take the poster that I just framed about a month ago and take it all out and then put a new one in. It's because I wanted to frame it. So there it is. So I, it was very easy. I took off the back. I just untaped the old poster. That there's the, there's the old one. I untaped it. I just followed my exact same lines that I just showed you guys. I didn't have to do anything else except line it up on those lines, tape it down, and put my green tape, and then there's my autograph poster now in my frame. So it came out great and super easy, and I, now it's uh, hanging up on the wall. So there you go. It was just a, a way that I did to frame this poster, and uh, you guys can do it too. I just wanted to kind of share how I did this.